In this video, we're headed to one of my favorite racetracks in the world, Paradise Drag Strip in Calhoun, Georgia. They have an annual toy drive event that has a car show, swap meet, and fun runs on the drag strip. The big highlight for this event is Mike Finnegan was on display with the Rubber Duck Firebird, which was actually previously owned by Paradise Drag Strip. So really neat to see that car back here. But unfortunately, they didn't get to run or make any passes because there was a bad wreck down on the top end that damaged the guardrail, damaged the timing system. So I got to see a little bit of racing action. I got to see my buddy Josh race his Pinto and Gremlin. You'll see those passes here. And of course, you can watch his video that shows a lot of in-depth coverage about his experience there at the track. So definitely check that out as well. So let's get into some of the cars that got my attention here at the track. The first thing I saw as soon as I got to the swap meet was this little Model A Roadster. Now this thing has a full fiberglass body. It's got a custom frame, but it's really based off of a Model A frame. It's not stretched out or Z'd or cut up or anything. It's just basically a Model A frame, but it's made out of aluminum, which I find really interesting that this thing is aluminum frame, fiberglass body. This thing must be extremely light but you can see it's got a chrome axle on the front. It's got hairpin radius rods. It's got some street rod, hot rod type equipment on the front end. The back end's a little bit different. It's got a little more modern setup with coilovers. It's got an eight inch rear end under the back of it, which probably doesn't need a nine inch being this lightweight. And it actually, before it got here, it had a turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder engine in it, which was probably a really cool combination. But they were basically parting this thing out and selling the rolling shell. Definitely my favorite part of it is the old paint job with the lettering and the pinstriping. I mean, you can see right there the lettering and airbrush work on that C train. That is so good. I mean, that would clean up really nice. I think you could just polish that and really bring it back to life. But one of the coolest aspects of it is that it was actually raced in this area by a pretty legendary Ford racer. His name was Leslie Anderson. And he raced this thing back years ago. Obviously, this was not a modern race car. No roll bar, no safety equipment whatsoever, no seats or anything like that. So there's a lot of work to be done with a project like this, but it's definitely a good conversation piece and something that we really did consider buying while we were walking around because the price kept going lower and lower and lower and we kept getting a little more tempted to take this thing home with us, but we passed on it. We've got plenty of drag car projects back at home. Another cool car in the swap meet is this 53 Chevrolet sedan delivery. And of course I like it because it's got the back end cut out, kind of like what you'd do for a gasser. But you'll notice this car is not a gasser. This is just an old car. And somebody probably hacked those fender wells out, probably just for tire clearance issues. So it's definitely not an old drag car. It's just a neat piece that was there for sale in the swap meet. I was really hoping to get to see this car run. I've seen it many times on the Southeast Gasters Association circuit. This is Hubert Platt's Georgia Shaker number three. This is an altered wheelbase Ford Falcon. And this car runs really good. It's got a fuel injected Ford engine in it and it is fully authentic as far as the drivetrain, as far as the suspension, everything about this car is about as authentic as you can get for an old race car and still be safe. And they were planning on running this car, but because of the racing action getting shut down early, they didn't actually get to go make any passes, but they did get to line up with Mike Finnegan to do the national anthem, which is a real slow parade lap down the track holding the American flag. So that was a really neat experience for the Platt family, and for Mike Finnegan. One of the cars I was really looking forward to watching was this Willys Pro Mod, which was absolutely too much for this track, but they have this car set up for no prep racing, but this is actually an ex Scotty Cannon Pro Mod car. I probably saw this thing run when I was a kid. This thing was so cool and it absolutely shook the ground when it was running. Another cool car I didn't get to see run was this twin turbo Chevrolet sedan. I've seen this car make some passes before and it's pretty wild. It's definitely fast and fast for this type of racetrack. I basically stuck around long enough to take some burnout shots, some drag racing shots, and I did get a few shots of Sleeper Dude as he made it down the track in his Pinto and in his Gremlin. So let's enjoy some of that drag racing action. Thank you for watching. 